Okay. Thinking a lot lately. I don't know what about different stuff. Dreams, sex, uh, violence, drugs, rock and roll, you name it. One thing that I'm thinking is race and hate crime. Firstly, they're like, we. this kid got lit on fire, this 13-year-old boy by two other kids. And the police are like, we're going to try and figure out if this is a hate crime. And it's like, well, wait, two dudes lit a guy on fire. I have a feeling hate was involved. And then that got me to thinking about society and like what really happens. And if you've noticed when you are looking across a lake and there's an explosion, you see it, and some time goes by, and then you hear it. Same way with interaction. Same way with the videos we make on YouTube. Same way with the things we say to people. We say it and then they hear it. Or we say it, and then three years later they hear it. It's the way it works. It's the way society works. We're planting the seeds. We're seeding the plants. The things we say and do are affecting the 12 year olds, and in five years they're gonna be in charge. Well, probably. Seven years, six years. And it's like if you take some time off of being a good per being yourself and being a good person and just kind of duck under the weather, you know, it's not going to affect all the people that are like hyped up and ready to go and have been following you and listening to you and believe in you. But it's the, the new people that are just seeing you for the first time that see that you're a piece of shit. They're going to remember that in five years and ten years. It's like you're always kind of planning for the future. And we're, we're headed into a golden age. Uh, maybe we're in a golden age. Maybe our golden age just ended. I feel like if enough great people get together, we can make a golden age at any time. And there's enough great people I know that we can make 60 golden ages if we needed to. It could last the next 100,000 years, 200,000 years. Uh, I guess my conversation would be a little more focused if I was talking directly to someone. So I'll say hello. Hope you're doing well. And um, you can do anything you want to do. So do it. Sometimes I wonder what I want to do. I'm like, well, I mean, I could do, I could draw some pictures and put them online. And you know what I noticed? All these little things that are like, they seem so insignificant. It's like, I just want to do, you know, I could do a little thing like writing a song or like drawing a picture or, or writing a, a, a short paragraph or a novel or a story. These, these little, these little intricacies that we offer to society as little pieces of art or whatever you know you can go you can go build a build a little a wooden chair on the street corner and it's a piece of art you know or like all these little things they they don't seem like much when you do it like if you're if you're worried about effect I'm sorry that the video just cut out uh, if you're worried about affecting people, it's like you do these little things like I'll, I'll draw a picture and I'll make a YouTube video and I'll put a song on it and you know, you know see the picture. And it doesn't seem like much. But looking back on life, all those things are so important. They, 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 they're like each a page in the story of your life. And you're no one of them really stands out or should really stand out. Or maybe sometimes one thing does stand out like a particularly when people do really bad things, that one bad thing usually is the thing that stands out. But, you know, you can do really good things, and those can stand out as, like, a great part of the story. But, like, it's, they're, all, they're all legs, you know? They're all, like, you're building a house of cards, basically, and each one is a little piece. And all these things that, like, I haven't done that seem, like, overwhelming, like writing a book, like really writing it, like sitting down and taking the two hours a night for the next 60 nights to write it is, like, ugh, two hours a night. Oh, but like, life is long, and you can do a lot of stuff. Huh. You can learn a lot of things, and then everything you do gets easier. Well, maybe not everything, but you don't have to think about stuff as much the more you know, the more you remember. Uh, I'm a little all over the place. I've been a little all over the place for a while. 
I just wanted to do a lot of a lot of good. I had to kind of learn for myself, to myself, about how to take care of myself. And I, I'm doing a lot of sitting down in these YouTube videos, but you know it's a little misleading because my job is standing on my feet. I'm a waiter, and uh, I do a lot of standing and walking around and running and jumping and stuff. Oh, this this video card really, really is a piece of shit. <laughs> it flashed again right when I said that. It's a good video card. Thank you, video card, for being there and working sometimes, usually, most of the time, 99% of the time. And fuck you for blinking, flashing, and causing me chaos when I'm trying to use my computer sometimes. No, but it's a gracious, wonderful piece of technology, and I'm really glad that I have it. I feel bad for these people that don't have it. I just have this, like, mask of people, like, African people that I don't know that I've been, like, led to believe are, like, less than, that have less than. It's like, yeah, I don't want to generalize anything. I'd rather just just use this stuff and probably just use this at some point and just do some stuff, you know? And maybe you just be a friend as clumsy as you seem. Do you guys like that song, Clumsy by? There's no one laughing. Uh-oh. That was copyright violation. What a stupid fucking world we live in sometimes, man. <laughs> Are you allowed to play like six seconds of a song before it becomes copyright violation? What about three seconds? What about one note from the song? When does it become the song? Two, two notes? I'll take you to court. No, I'm just kidding. Don't take me to court. Um, I've grown a lot. Not worrying about projecting uh, an image. Oh, I found out what pathetic means. Pathetic, it comes from the Greek term about worrying about what the audience thinks. That was considered patheticism, is when someone would worry about what the audience was thinking. And the less pathetic I've gotten, the more I've been able to learn a lot about myself and have learned a lot about myself. And when I mean learn a lot about myself, I mean I can feel the liquids and the moisture flowing through my body. Like if I have a sore throat or stomach, I know why. It's because stuff's not circulating properly and all you got to do is stretch it out. That's like saved my life. That's like giving me so much hope about just relaxing and living life. I'm like, yeah, there's a lot of suffering, but I don't see a lot of suffering in my future. But maybe it's because the things you don't see are the things that invigorate you the most. It's like, the things you get your energy from are the things you don't know, kind of. Propel it, you know, it's like a diagram of like, if you know this, then there's all this other stuff that's pushing on it. Whatever, it's, it's a little uh, esoteric again. And before this video gets too off track, like right now it's bumping along, gonna say, yeah, my pa woo! You know, but not too loud because I have fucking neighbors and I live in the suburbs. But soon, when I live in the woods, I'm going to be yee all the way to the bank. <laughs>